supervolcano that could destroy humanity is ready to erupt and NASA is trying to figure out how to contain it. Yellowstone erupts roughly every 600,000 years, and it's about 600,000 years since it last exploded. An eruption at Yellowstone National Park could lead to the end of human civilization. However, NASA has a plan that could prevent such an explosion and could also create a geothermal plant to generate electricity. What images go through your mind when you think of the end of the world? Asteroids perhaps a world war? Climate change? Or even aliens? Even if some of these things are realistic, there's a much greater threat lurking beneath Earth's surface that could put an end to human civilization. And very few know about it. NASA sees them as one of the greatest natural threats to humanity. Supervolcanoes. Below Yellowstone National Park, there's a huge magma reservoir that's responsible for all the geysers and hot basins. Bubbling away. And it's precisely this reservoir that has the potential to destroy humanity. While the reservoir below Wyoming National Park isn't the only potential supervolcano in the world, Yellowstone is ready to erupt. Roughly every 100,000 years, there's a supervolcano explosion, the consequences of which can be fatal. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it would result in worldwide hunger and a volcanic winter, the cooling of the lower atmosphere. According to UN estimates, an eruption could leave us with just enough food reserves for exactly 74 days. The hotter it gets in the volcano, the more gases it produces. The magma continues to melt and the area above the magma chamber rises, and when the heat exceeds a certain threshold, an explosion is inevitable. So the logical solution would be to cool the supervolcano. To cool the volcano, you need very large amounts of water that, in theory, you would have to feed into the volcano, but implementation is virtually impossible. Building a big aqueduct uphill into a mountainous region would be both costly and difficult, and people don't want their water spent that way. Brian Wilcox of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.